Hey, hey everyone! How's it going, everyone? Yeah, so... Just doing all the text in there. Uh, let me just. No, I guess fine. It was fine. So, yeah, farming simulator 19. I don't need to bother about that one. We're going for a new. And we're going to Falmsbrun. Yep, all of that. Yes to all of that. Now, you've seen the uh, title of this stream, no doubt. Feeding anything but cows. Technically, we're going to be feeding everything but cows. So let me just uh, check. Ah, yeah, there's a shop. So it would make sense to buy twenty eight and twenty nine. Or maybe you just need twenty nine. Cause then how much does that now we can buy twenty eight as well? That way we've got the blends close to the saw. Yeah, it's easy enough. So what? is growing corn and nothing up really really no, 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 that, that, that actually is fine. That's fine. Because, let's see. A pig enclosure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deformation of the terrain failed. I think we're going to have to do this ourselves then. Unless. I don't can be placed here to bring the formation field. Okay, then. 
they might be good for something, but what we need them for, no. However, however, twenty one is a big, massive land. Correct. Oh, massive land. Thirty one is also a massive land. Before we buy, let's just see. Yeah, twenty one looks mostly straight. How's 31 looking? Mostly straight as well, I think. Um, I mean, we buy this land we also get this area here up to where this path is and this is straight so yeah bye and then big and close up There. That's about as good as we're gonna get it. Hmm. Hmm. The terrain deformation tool or terrain terraforming tools they're definitely not completely there at times are they no still we've got a pasture ready to feed some pigs and yes, we could just buy him the food, but where's the fun in that? We are going to grow it. And if we look at the, yeah, okay, so we need to buy some animals. I'm doing this properly, no being, you know, sort cutty, sinty, whatever you want to call it. Animal trailers ah, uh, yeah, animal transport. Ten will buy and keep uh, 
and also medium tractor. That one. Put the bigger ends in it. Yeah. Now you might wonder why not just lease instead of buy. Well. I'll be keeping a hold of this. Save. Rather than doing the next one over. So for the month, this month, you'll be seeing this area a lot. Oh, map. Yep, yeah, animal dealer over there. Now, what I want to do here is also so why feeding any animal except cows for Christmas, why that sounds is not worth it really. Anything but cows is not worth it. And we're starting with the hardest of the lot. Basically, because pigs they well, you'll see in a bit. One, two, three, and Four. Confirm. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, slow. We're gonna have to pull an air in reverse. Awesome. Uh, and then back to the field we go. Ooh. Close goal. Right. I'll definitely be sticking with this field even while well, with this save across my own plays as well. So the money you see me with I will have got back I guess or walked up towards For when I'm next streaming the game. Now this is gonna be a bit iffy, isn't it? Destroying some of that crap, but that's okay. Because here are the pigs. All four of them. And now we can go to the animal. 
There, so you see, we need corn, wheat or barley, soybeans, canola or sunflowers, potatoes or sugar beet. That's four separate things you have to be growing. And if we look at what we're growing here, it's wheat. We definitely don't need all of that to be wheat. Actually, you know what? Let me just do get that map. Hundred and twenty-eight thousand to buy. It was growing potatoes. I'm pretty certain it was. And so we can use that field to get the potatoes that we need. Every other piece of equipment from this point on, I am probably going to lease them. Because otherwise we'll run out of money pretty fast. So to the sub where we need Well we need the harvester. That's a do. And then we need a header. Um, yep, you will buy the header. And let's. Sunflowers. At least. Actually, no. We needn't have bought that one at all. So which one was it? The smaller of the two? Just uh, dump it there and we can hit sell.
Okay. So we got this. We'll drop that. Uh, key. I know we don't own that land, but someone else can get some use out of it. No doubt. Except no one else will, because this is only a single player lobby. So what we need now is that... Ever so great cedar that can also cultivate... That one? Yes? Yes. And then we'll fill up with... Two thousand seeds. Even though it seems... Silly to do so. Now, one of the things I would hope a new game improves are the mirrors. At present, they're kind of useful and kind of useless because of how low quality they are compared to the view. Right, let me just... So corn, we have growing, we need either wheat or barley, so bean or canola. Let's try. We still don't need all that much after all. Maybe... One more. Hmm? I have some fields and sticks, ain't I? On this map. Interesting to note with some of the time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
again too difficult and now we're going down huh? making things easier Like seriously, <clears throat> that is some toy. Actually, what I do is go the long way around. So we go down how first as we. Choose Canola for video side of thing. Lower turn on. The new game is going to be so great to finally get the grips with. A more realistic simulation. There's going to be seasons. And we haven't really seen much of it yet. But do you really need to? You pretty much know what you're getting into with a game like Farming Simulator. Although, me being me, I definitely want to see where the, where the new places we get to go. That's all I'm interested in in any game really. How the world looks. A pretty good one. All right, turn on. Left and find goes way down. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to grow, This is corn, is it not? No, it isn't. So we've just 
replanted. Brilliant. This cannot do corn. No. That doesn't matter. Um, let me just get a two more things. Plow, you tiny little thing. Yeah, yeah, the scene of Grace Track Buddy. I can just hear someone racing around. Without a care in the world. Right, this is going to be tricky. But we should just about manage it. Yeah, that's looking a wonky line. Mm. Yeah, this is why you said no. Try to operate, operate these things on a hill. We're all getting there. You said we need a massive field created, I don't think. Just one that can do the job of getting us about a thousand corn. Oh, hi. That's just tiny tracks. I mean, how? You don't really need all that it's now, I don't think. Yeah. I still don't think this is going to be able to get us a thousand. Five hundred, maybe. But we will see when we plant stuff, won't we? Alright, let me just get rid of that. Ooh. 
Yeah, a terrible, messy beyond that we've created. So perhaps do with going one up here. And then we can uh, get to planting or sowing. First person camera really not making it good. Okay. And down we come and then that's a bit. That will be it. and pull it back to the field yeah I think this thing can't be a bit too heavy for our tractor so we're definitely going to need to attach our weight onto it at some point the tractor, well as now we need uh, the ability to sow corn. Wheat. Hmm. Hmm. So you've got cotton technology there. But you don't have specific corn technology. You just have corn headers. Hmm. Unless it's further on a bit. Guys, one of the front load down transport sensor, bleeders, and tank tethers, bending technology. Uh, 
That's odd. I know that's cotton technology. Where's the corn? Oh. No, that's beet. Not corn. Am I just being dense or something, not being able to find something that can do corn? Tractors, trucks, harvesters, forest harvesters, potato technology, beef technology, and sugar cane. Well, in corn. So we have specific category for corn headers, so that must mean regular seeders are capable of doing corn. Well, and apparently no seeder is. In fact, where's the seed that's capable of doing sunflowers? Because I ain't seeing one here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm being dense. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing where I mean, all my uh, time playing 19, I've never never grown any corn or whatever or anything else, potatoes and that. And in 17, both the cedars and the planters are together. Right, that holds six hundred. Yeah, we uh, we really could do with a weight on this thing. Because that's something else I've never really bothered with either. Because with 17, it barely seems like you need it.
Let's have a yes Luna. Okay. I think a thousand ought to do it. Thousand pilgrims. Lower, turn on, and let's get this corner soon. Okay, a massive amount of wind. This tractor now has kind of means it can barely get up this hill. This steep hill. It doesn't matter because we're only feeding pinks, which means we don't need to bother with any exact measurements or yeah, we'll just go with measurements. We don't need any exact numbers. We just need to grow the four lots of food that the pigs need. And that's what I mean when I say pigs are the hardest. You have four separate things that you need to be growing in order to feed them. Come on, you can manage it. Just a bit down here. And then we're done. We only have 24 hours to wait. Which reminds me. Speed selling. Times thirty. Right, lift and turn off. That's done. Okay, it looks as though this thing's growing. Grass. 
so. Let's expand one more time. And then, because now we can Yeah, it's also going to be awkward. Yeah, we're uh, wasting a couple of money doing this, but... It's worth it for when we... Try to come up here. Yeah, so that's... Kind of a monetary help. Anyway, let's see the closer. Let's go get some C. You can see what I mean about how easy soup is and why it's not really much of time to feed them for Christmas. Because out of all of them, Soup are pretty much the easiest you can easiest animals. Oh no, wrong turning. We don't want to go up to castle. Soup are the easiest animals you can uh, look after. I've got on, on uh, 2017 on my sweats. They were the first ones that I did get. And Zikin is kind of following the same kind of thing, except of course. You actually need to grow something for chickens. Which is definitely going to come in handy because, well, we are growing something.
very glowing. Now my chickens require barley and or oats. And we're growing wheat. No point buying another field now. I'll just have to uh, do so later on. Right, let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to smooth that out as well, as best as we can. Come on. Um, that's when, yeah. There, there you are on it. And mm. not the greatest but sort of thing. And then we wanna drop that and wait. So animals. See? They need either grass or hay. Yeah, grass or hay. So grass, obviously, is the easiest thing to get, considering it's all around. So let me just get Two things. We need <laughs> oh. the mower, safe enough to buy, and One of those. I'm sure that's right. Yeah, it is. So we come out here. I mean, even if that field wasn't growing grass, like I say, it's still the easiest thing you can come across. Because there's some right here on these lines that we own. And so Yeah, I dare say 3,000, and so is going to be enough. It's only 4 on them after all. So we head over here to the feed.
Um, I don't see how have bought the wrong thing. No, yeah. That's right. Or is this the wrong... I think it's the wrong thing. Yeah, it was. Anyway, the they've now got food. And that is soup fed for Christmas. That's it. No need to grow anything. No real need to do anything. I mean, you want you want them watered as well, obviously. So. I would just head here and buy the water tank. Under animals, water tank. And we need to fill it. What's an upgrade? There is a lake close by. I would not recommend this. You, you do in real life, but in the game it is totally fine. Yeah, imagine you're a streamer, you're doing a farming simulator Christmas stream, and that's it. You bought the seat, you've bought a piece of land, and it's to keep them, you've got them fed and watered in about 10 minutes. What kind of challenge is that? What kind of stream is that? It's barely any entertainment. Barely worth anything, really. Ah, the year. Uh, Why is a harvest of them? This is going to be fun. I mean, don't need it all, obviously. It's definitely not all needed. Oh, I will try my best to get it. There we 
gonna leave it out here. Yeah, we might even out a bit. We should only need about 2,000 of it. If we uh, sleep in the grass or any indication. Corn harvester, you could do this. You can do this harvester. Let's start turning away so that maybe we can pick up the speed. Or is this? Just too steep for it to handle. Oh, but here we go. One thousand four hundred is fine. Right, where is the pigs? Uh, eating tray here. I mean, it doesn't look as though it's gone in, but it's in. the magic that is video games. One of the four things we need to feed the pigs is in. Alright, let's see, is that potato grown here? Well, that's certainly on its way to growing. Growth remove tops. Yes. And yes, I am well aware that they are completely infested with weeds. Really, so to turn that off. So what we want to be doing a tato technology Hmm. So where's combine thing?
Three somewhere. That's it. We're going to need our tractor and its weight. So I have to go in the said weight. Oh. Very good. And okay, that worked. Is this a combine thing? Lower and forward. I didn't say we needed a horn type of thing. So I assume it's an all in one. Yeah, I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Very slowly, we are getting potatoes. Try best we do this side to side, I think. Again, we only really need about 2000 or about anyway. Yeah, sound sound better. 
kind of. Because you're not trying to fight the hell. Is it now? I think I'll change my mind. Yeah, Krikun. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, definite hype for the next farming sim. So be a great one. We're just uh, feeding a load of animals here. And so enough why they're not very good for the year. Feed the cow for Christmas challenges that people like to do around. Well, just so enough why feed the cow for Christmas is as popular as it is and why all the other animals aren't popular choices. So we've already spent the scene in about 10 minutes. Which kind of shows why you definitely don't want to sing. Okay, that's enough of that. We've got enough potatoes. And also... Chickens following roughly the same farm, does it? But we need to grow their food while sheep just eat grass, which is readily available everywhere. Yeah, I'll bring the food directly to the pigs, why not? Yeesh. I need to smooth this down, crying out loud. Right, uh, we're facing the wrong way, of course we are. Just going on the crop, that's okay. Right. Pipe out. That said, when. Yeah. Two out of three. I mean, four. For the pigs. We can now return this because I never want to use it again. Never again. Not on that hill anyway. If it wasn't on a hill, yes. But because it's on a hill, no. 
unless you got small equipment on you. Anyway, how's the... Uh... Canola's growing. Okay. And that corn is gonna be growing as well. So there's... Not really much we can be doing. While we wait, so anyone got some? Field twenty one. No, Field twenty eight. Oh, go on then. Right, drop you. Hold on, we still got a tiny bit of wheat. Farming Sim 20? That's the mobile version of this one. And the mobile versions are terrible. Console versions are supreme, which is why I'll never be buying another farming sim on the Switch because, well, the fact that the 2022 hasn't been confirmed for Switch kind of says that 23, which will be the mobile version, will be what the Switch is going to get. And I hate the fact. The Switch is going to be getting another mobile version when it could be getting a full experience. Um. Oh, well, we don't we don't have any. Do we? There's no wheat in there. Oh, we've got a... Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, so... They go on a, yeah... Uh, alternate year years. They release the console version first, and then the mobile version after and for some reason attacks the next year onto the mobile version which is kind of weird if you ask me considering it's still technically the same game just downgraded so why would you be boasting Apparently being the next one in the series. That's why I'm always calling the Switch version 17, despite the fact it would be 20 Farming Simulator 18.
It's just... Their name of Tom Anson is just weird, really. <clears throat> I was listening to their podcast when the new one got announced. I was actually saying how people were asking about that question. About why... Why don't we have a... Well, why is Farming Simulator 22 called 22 when the even numbers are usually the mobile versions? And they said, no, that's not a hard rule. That's just how it's been. Which, yeah. It doesn't need to even be that way. Oh boy. Come on, Harvester. Kick Link. This thing doesn't have enough power to... I mean, it's not going to get stuck on anything, it just does not seem to be able to go... ...forward. Let's try now. No. So sorry dude, but uh... Hold on. I'm meant to be on 28, not 21. Twenty-eight's that field next to the one I am. Well, I am idiot. This would be easy enough then. It's all downhill. Anyway, the uh, corn that we're growing should be ready soon. As is, I assume, the canola. Hold on then, if we're meant to be doing wheat... No, I'm calm. It is calm. Why am I being complete? I don't know. Anyway, we need to keep heading back up. and every time because we just don't have the power to hey gold suck how you doing it will not have the power to go uh, up the hell yeah thanks it was uh, done a few days ago
got to have it nice and uh, smooth, nice and soft. Especially when you don't know when your next one will be. And with it coming to summer anyway, you want it soft, really, don't you? Just let the uh, air get to it, to your head. Yeah, an aerodynamic. Yeah. Allows me to go faster. Not that I'm going anywhere fast, but you know what I mean. Might happen someday. Alright, so it takes about 24 to 36 hours for stuff to grow. So That'll be about another end game hour or two, and then I'll check on the uh, canola. For a place as hilly as this, you kind of need power from the seams. Yeah, you can drive onto a road. While, while the thing is active, I don't see why you'd want to, but you can do it. Probably tots in the road when we get to my mess of a custom made field. Just because that's how I made it to be. of it done and then we will uh, I think more than half of it done I think every possibility It could even be complete. Nah, I don't I don't think that'll happen. Uh 
Oh, I'm definitely be nearly there. And fold. And we'll take the harvester all the way to where we're meant to be delivering this stuff to. Because why not? Who needs a trailer to deliver this stuff? Um, well, we probably should have a uh, 40 pound trailer to deliver this stuff. That's a long heckin' journey. And we definitely need to work on our own stuff first. But you don't mind Farmer the Line helping, do you? You don't mind at all. Alright, what's the best way to do this? Just get onto the main road Yeah, onto the main road mm. I thought that was going to be crass Well, a traffic accident Fortunately, it wasn't. Ah, we beat the train across the crossing. Lovely. And despite that sign saying that there are animals around, there are none. <clears throat> It'd be nice to see some, but... There's definitely none around. Except for the ones that you find within my pens. I suppose one good thing about driving this on the roads is at least I'm obeying the speed limit. Because otherwise I'd be belting along the road at about 40 miles an hour. When the limit's only 20 or so. As far as I'm aware, there's a fence or something gonna block us from getting over there.
Okay, so where are we delivering this to exactly? Ah, uh, that's great. So to click alongside and pipe out. <coughs> I've spent quite a bit of time waiting for the uh, comment to come out. Okay, fifty two percent transporter. So, yeah, I was right, pretty much. No, it's straight. Oh, there's no point going straight on if we've got to go up a hill. So let's just try and remember my way. There's a kind of an S bend and then go past field A. And then we take. Turning past the old thing. Okay. I'm going to have to deal with my own crop. Fields 1 to 5 are a very long way away from everywhere else. I cannot say I'd want to be there. And okay, so let's just yeah, this is getting a distracted. Uh, yeah, there's uh, two rooms. And they're all both very no it's three roots no two roots that that one that looks a third is a uh, rail line I can see so yeah two roots and they're both very hilly although the land up there is kind of flat, so I guess that's a plus. Yeah, that's a plus. This is a hill as well, isn't it? Oh, I've still got the power to get up it. At the same speed as we always have been travelling. So straight home. Excellent. Now I'll deal with crop 
that we the corn that we have first. There's no doubt that's corn. And I'd be surprised if it hadn't grown, really. It's had long enough. Going up to 28 and 29. And then with these two done, that's the pigs fed. And then I can completely stop. See about trying to get any uh, other money from the crop we've gone around. Another potato zoo. Actually, we could probably sell that land. Let someone else deal with our growing potatoes. Yep, there it is. It's growing. That's good then. Unfold. Turn on. Okay, I should dry it up. Don't want to hit you. Yeah. We can't move. I want as much as clean as we can get. Which is all of it, obviously, but you never know if there might be a few complications somewhere. Turn off to so that we can come on, come on. Okay. There are quite a few weeds that I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need to go right to the top, but. We've got a lot. Okay. 
and then time to do that amazing magic trick again. In a bit. The amazing magic trick. And this time you'll be able to see. So... Across here... Park ourselves. And we want the matting quick angle. Thank you. Magic. Anyway, yeah, this is just a mess of stuff. We really need to put a bit more thought into this, really. One of these fields definitely needs to account for some kind of storage place. Now we also need our lights on. This is definitely going to grow. Going to grow. I see no reason. Ah, yeah. Because all of that's weird. This hasn't. This is what we need. Canula. I'm probably going to be getting about a thousand of it, but that's all we need. And we'll let everything else with that as well. Okay, so that's thousand. We're still going. And there's three hundred. And then we come across here to Yep. There. So 
We are feeding pigs for a talent. Honestly, it's kind of not enjoyable because you've got to grow four different things. You need a massive amount of equipment to be able to get everything. And a big enough field to be able to grow it all as well. And I will place your pig pasture. And again, it's just really awkward in the fact that. There's no real need to be bothered about how much you actually uh, get done or how much you have for the year. Uh, how much you put in the pen, in the food plot. There's what we was trying to say. It doesn't matter how much you put in the food graph, even a hundred litres of the food it eats. And you can say you fed the pigs. It's just waiting around for the stuff to grow that's the problem here with this with feeding pigs. Because as with the talons, if you're streaming it, you want a good enough balance between entertainment and actually doing the talons. And feeding pigs just doesn't really offer that. Anyway, yeah, let me just get this job done and then I can see about seconds. We probably should have grown the barley first. Yeah, sort of grown the barley first. Oh well. We are uh, Yeah. I don't think I'll have enough money to be able to get. No, right, taking pastures away. The team paste things to get. So I should be fine. And we're buying the chickens. Yeah, I'm definitely restarting for the next lot of springs though, because uh, I've kind of made a mess of things. If you was going to do a normal play, I'm going to be interesting in a way to try and get back to uh, well, be interesting to get back into some money from this but we have pigs, cows no, pigs, sheep and chickens 
to be looking after. And yeah, we could get rid of them, but sell them off. But we'll still have to deal with the terrible terraforming, replacing the structures as brought and it just ain't worth it, really. But we'll still stick with the same map. I'll still, st yeah, stick with the same map. So this map is a nice one. And it's one I've barely been on. So it would be nice to spend some time on it. Rather than just the three hours of the last feed account for Christmas that we did. One well, the second feed account for Christmas that we did. The one that didn't get turned into a highlights video. And hey, depending on when the new game gets released, you can definitely be sure of what I'll be doing live for the first time on it. Yeah, I feed the cow for Christmas challenge. Well, feeding cows for Christmas challenge. I'll stop using Zingle Zam title for it. It's feeding cows for Christmas, not feed a cow. Feeding cows for Christmas. Come on, that's it. That's it. And we're speeding up. Yeah, another thing I want them to fix with the new game, and I'm pretty certain they will, is this damn first person camera when in vehicles. It is horrible. You should... You should always remain parallel with the vehicle, not the x-axis or whatever this flat line is yeah the x or the x plane yeah because x and then y and then z yeah So this camera has a tendency to stay sticking parallel with the X plane rather than with the uh, how your vehicle is pointing or angle, does it say? I must have done something between 17 and 19 because in 17 it actually works like intended. But considering 19 was a pretty big jump 
over the 17 you can kind of forgive him because over time science were more focused on getting more features into the game with 19 because there hadn't really been that much of a uh, very big change from the first games to the up to 17 I mean, graphics department and how the maps are designed, yeah, but in the core of the uh, game, no, not really. Whereas with 19, they gave you more freedom of doing stuff. For the first time, you were not landlocked to an area of land when doing a help mission for another farmer and you could use any equipment that you owned you purchased areas of land not the field numbers and while they did get rid of the solar panel and wind turbine placeables which I assume are going to be put back from 22 they did allow you for the first time to put your animal pens wherever you wanted as well as everything else as long as you owned that piece of land of course And yeah, somehow the physics must have suffered. And that's what they're going to be working on with this next game. Just uh, drive slow as per the norm. Anyway, in terms of feeding chickens, how am I going to do this? We can't buy any land, we don't have enough money to. I suppose we... No, no, no. No point selling stuff we don't need. Because we kind of need... everything. suppose if we want to speed things up a bit we could leave the corn header at this point there was no real reason to be doing that we can just enjoy the drive
Did I hit that cyan? I think I might have done. Contract on field 28 finished, but we still got more that's being delivered for our scout. A thousand two hundred income. So collect that almost a thousand. It takes us up to 67,000. What we will run before fines, no, not fines, fees were taken off of us. Okay, yeah, we can see about going up this here. to get back as long as I don't get lost every possibility ah hey he's toad uh, I am um, well I fed see I fed pig of being showing off why they're not very good for the feeding cows for Christmas talons where you have three hours to uh, feed a particular animal and now I'm moving on to chickens to show off how easy it is to feed those and why it doesn't make for good talons But while, well, while I was waiting, I did help a farmer. But rather than buy a trailer like any sensible person, I was driving to the drop off point in this thing. Travelling the roads at 13 miles an hour. And it's a nice, simple. Leisurely drive. No need to rush things after all. Even if my timer speed is on times 30, there's no need to rush things. Anyway. can easily grow. It's just a way to round. So is there any job that we can take on once we've sewn it? Who knows? I'm sure there will be. However, we turn right to go south here, and then we said be close to our farm. I 
Um, we just need to um, get a chicken pasta down somehow. Yeah, that, that area is where we start, so yeah, we are almost... <coughs> back. Oh, did I hit the, yeah, uh, I think I might have hit the monk form, so if any sound came from that, sorry. And no, I can't say it yet. We're a bit too far out to be able to say it yet. Okay, now we can. And here we are at our mess of a farm. So I'll just drop you there. No need for you. Where's that other? There we are. Attach you. And then. Chicken coop. There we go, that works. That's terrible deformation of the terrain again. And yeah, terrain. Oh, that's we hit the wrong button. Oh, that's sued. You good enough? Let's get planted. Tractor, where are you? So, we should only need 2000s worth. Just look. Oh, wait, we actually need to hover. I know what I'm doing. We need barley, so. I'm fine with lower.
and turn on. Okay, we don't even need that much, honestly, because once again, specific portions are not needed. Just get whatever you can, and that's what chickens fed. So once this has grown, feeding chickens is complete. That's all we'll be needing. Let that grow for 24 hours in game. And then, yeah, complete. Ooh. So we'll drop that, or Chris, but get around a maze of stuff we've created and chew the dealer sir, of animals. Remember which road we meant to turn off at? Although I suppose we can go to the uh, castle. Not like we've got anything else to be doing, unless we do want to help another farmer. We explored last time. Well, we can still do that this time as well. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, do we even need a trailer to uh, pick up chickens? So I don't need to pick up chickens here. Lovely. One second. Right, uh, oh, of course, how are we gonna, how are chickens gonna be, uh, welcoming this thing, of course. 
This is for big animals, and chickens are only small. I'll reposition myself in a bit. Once we get back to the farm. No, oh, I like taking yeah, stuff taking time. Okay. Oh look, our sleeper beam producing wool. There's about a thousand liters of stuff there, almost. Right, one, two, three. Four. There. So they're waiting. Yeah, they're. Wheat or barley. Why did I think it was oats or barley? Oh ah, well, we've got the barley growing. Where are you gay? So let's go take a look at that castle there. It's a very interesting thing that they put on this map. Really, considering that it serves no purpose other than as a beauty spot on the landscape. Well, it's a nice beauty spot. I saw... And yes, I could have drove here, but... Walking is, well, running is better, I suppose. You can't, you don't even have to get all the way up to the top before you get to, uh, Take a look on some fantastic views, you know. Big massive river or lake or whatever. And then all of that mountainous terrain in the background. <coughs> As a Another town or something over there. And 
Why the van is there? A light that's always on or something? I don't know. We'll stay around here because I don't think I've looked over there or anywhere on this map while the year uh, while it's night. And with Arnongrat the uh, had some lights appear when it was dark. So it looked as though uh, the other towns were lit up as well. That you could see but not get to. And yeah, of course, over this side, that's a big mountain. In fact, I dare say that might be the owl. Or oh, near near the Alps anyway. And then probably on the other side is a long rat. Who knows? It just seems weird that they'd have a, a train line, say Felsbrunn, Green Mill, at Erlengrat, when I suppose it's easier in a way, you don't have to make up another town, another place name, just use one that's already available. Oh, it's light. Of course. Yeah, this is the uh, ruins of a castle. <clears throat> You've got your outhouse. Can I? Ah, yep. I have not anything here. There's nothing here, but. It's interesting to see. Can we get up to here? And yeah, we can. Okay, now we can. Come on. There we go. I don't need to be able to do that trick to get into there. I don't even think we could get into the... This is gonna be... Uh, a bit awkward. Okay, where? Uh. Mm. 
the highest point we can get to on this map. Except that. Uh, I've got no idea if we can. I mean, I'll try in a bit. I just want to see it get dark. Let's watch the sun's progress as it goes down then. We should be in for a spectacular sunset. Maybe. I mean, it's not like GTA and it's spectacular day night cycles. You've got cycles, definitely. Is it time for the lights over there to turn on if they are going to? Maybe? I mean, I have a feeling we're going to wait until uh, about 18 game or something before the lights turn on. Because there's no lights on down there. And once there's lights on down there, there'll be lights on over there. Still looks great, even if it's not fantastic. Even if it's not fantastic. But then again, you don't really need a fantastic day night cycle for a farming sim. That ain't the point of the game. Oh yeah, what about behind us? Yeah, we can watch all those fields be harvested. Or watch their crops get grown. I mean, is it possible to see the train from here as well? Yeah, just about, because that's a line there. Well, I don't think it's possible, actually possible, to see it at this distance. Because it probably doesn't render in. We can watch these cars go by, I guess. Hmm, I want is it is it possible to uh get to a point where we can see them pop out of render distance. I am surprised if render distance is able to make them appear from up here.
So they disappear behind those trees. But we can just about see the lights on her. Okay. Yeah, you can see the uh, darkening sky is. And yeah, the lights are on down here. It doesn't look as though there's any kind of a light over there. We can uh Ah yeah, there's a few lights come on up here as well. Now ah, that place appears to be uh, lit up a bit, I think. It's just that one that doesn't... Maybe it'll happen at 9 in game? Uh, maybe render distance there's something to do with it but then that's further away than that is so I think there's just no lights there Don't want to drop down into somewhere inaccessible. Right. Is it possible to get up here? Use a backward jumping strap. Or is it not I Yeah, I don't think we can. Unfortunately. I don't think we've been down to the town at all during this stream. So let's go visit it at night. I'll suck to our tractor down here on uh, when I was testing the map earlier to see uh, well I was debating whether or not to have a save already uh, ready to go and then I decided why bother May as well just start from the beginning. Oh, we don't need our torts on. So yeah, Fellsbrunn as a town. 
Looks fairly nice. And definitely be uh, wanting to stay here if it was real. I think we can just about see the lights now. So yeah, it was probably around the distance. It had something to do with it. Yeah, you got a nice uh, road. It looks along the river, along with all these houses, they have a nice view. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I know, I should probably help out a farmer instead of just messing about looking around but we're now at the end and I just want to take my time relaxing really yeah you got more houses Hotels, while well, they are around here. Just pull our thoughts on. Yeah, you've got a door here. And doors there. But if I'm right, you also have... Doors here. So access both sides. Convenient. Two car garage, some just nice little house here. on the map. Ah yeah, the uh, What is it? Ledley. Some kind of a warehouse. Or something. Kind of like BMQ or Wix is for us in the UK. A garden centre or maybe... No, maybe it's a supermarket like Asda or Sainsbury's. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got money taken off us. Because it is now midnight. Just 10 in game hours left. And then we begin harvesting the uh, barley. A nice cafe. Oh, we do this kind of thing with the new maps as well, you know, just taking them in, having an explore. Here we have a petrol station, tanko fix, 
Tanko fit. Yeah, okay. Doubles as Gerards. Ah, yes. Here we are. Here we are. The statue of a cow. Just statue of a cow. I mean, Birmingham has a ball ring with a bull outside of it. So why not? And yeah, there's also Dudley that has a few roundabouts with uh, animal statues. So I guess in some areas it is considered common. Tiny uh, wooded area here with weird splintered trees. We have what is this place? Just a factory, I guess. Yeah, we're getting into the more industrial area of a town, kind of. Because these are more houses again. They have a bit more of a factory office look about um, as does this. So yeah, I guess you could say this is the more industrial area. Even if you do have some uh, hotels scattered along the lot. The heck? How many doors does one place need? I, mean, I was half expecting to find a door on this roof as well, considering how many doors there are. Who knows? Oh, yeah, got that house there. Now, if you access our map, roof. Yeah. We still what uh, color grading is it? Not darkest. No idea. Probably halfway done anyway. Another cafe. 
around here. With a... No idea. I don't want to go too far afield, just because, but let's uh, head for the this little port and have a look. Yeah, port southeast. I'm pretty sure that just said. Uh, yeah, the uh, no fence here. So yeah, kind of much the same as the other one. Really long. Much the same as the other one. They're still fairly neat. Well, yeah, the, uh, no one's doing the job. And then here, we are at the other end. Bit of grass leading down to the water. Which, yeah, we can go in. We can't swim out that far, I don't think. Because there'll be the invisible wall there to stop you from going too far. But it's rather neat how that's her. Well, how you can go for a swim if you so wanted. Mapsec. Yeah, that's that's now the darkest colour by the look of it. So it won't be all that long. Unless we say I'm gonna wait another few hours. Ah, yeah. Because on our feed, the Feeding Cows Christmas stream, when we was doing it on this map, we pretty much came the entire way down this uh, river, following I'm pretty sure we followed the river in the river for most of it. And then we uh, hopped off around here because there was a massive bridge or something. 
the train track was on and so I wanted to see if we could uh, get on it we couldn't yeah, let, let's do that again we're by the uh, rail line So here we are running along and then Okay, I was expecting the invisible wall. Oh I think that comes in a bit. It's gonna light again, so we can turn our torch off. <laughs> ah, this is a bridge, and yeah, we can go on it. I think I must have been, uh, oh no that was it, we wanted to see how far we could get over these rocks, but I'm pretty sure this is the invisible wall around about here, yeah, not far off from the track. As much as I say Dalong Rat was a beautiful map, there's no denying that this one is too. And Ravenport. Yeah, it's probably the least beautiful of the three, I guess. But in functionality, Ravenport is the one you always go for. Yeah. Functionality, Ravenport is the one you go for. Let's just run along the road. Oh, could have probably took the pizza here if I wanted a waterfall. But when I used in the end was actually perfect. For the montage image. Because it complemented the one I had for my mini on Forza Horizon 4 quite well. I mean, of course, we added all the other stuff onto the montage image, so I quite like. Including all four of my core front choices, which with Power Rangers is a bit harder to do. 
And yes, I am calling Power Rangers fourth core now. Because I am hopeful that the games will come. And it's not like I have to be a fan of everything that the franchise is doing for it to be uh, cool. After all, Pokemon doesn't really have any comics or books. And yeah, it's still one of my calls. See everything on the map then. <clears throat> yeah, there might be a bit of a growth issue. But we'll see. When we get there. Continuing the harvest done now and just get to the top of the hill. Yes, it is done. Act two and harvesting only we do. And take it to chickens and the chickens will have been fed as well. And I suppose I can give the uh, verdict. Again, looks like the sea feeding chickens for Christmas that salons. It's not really worth it honestly again yes you only have one thing to grow but while you're waiting for that thing to grow there's really nothing to do I mean you can Explore the map, do some weird sounds or whatever you want. But yeah, in the end, you are still waiting for barley to grow. And with the timer set to times five, that's a lot of waiting around. Uh, 
this. This is why I'm stunned by the fact that feeding cows for Christmas is the only way to do the talons. It really is the only way to do the talons. Ah, oh, hello chickens! And hello Brewster! But yeah, with feeding cows you've got the grass cutting to do and then pulling it on into hay which you can do while waiting for whatever it is you wait for it to grow so you can get straw and you, then you've got to make sure you've got the right amount of eat for the total mixed grass and wagon and yeah it's just a lot more involving in feeding a cow which is why it will always be the go-to for feeding for Christmas talent Anyway, that's enough of that, I think. We've been going for over three hours now. Uh, yeah. We will be on a fresh save next week, or whenever I return to Farming Simulator. And no challenges or anything for that time. We won't just be doing regular farming. So, thank you all for tuning in. And until next time, bye for now.